get into this beautiful turkey. Subscribe for the deliciousness. Make sure your notification bells are set to all. Let's take off. To get started, I'll show y'all my brining process for my turkey and the ingredients that I'll be using to brine it. I have a cup of salt, one fourth brown sugar, about six bay leaves, and some thyme and rosemary. I couldn't find any fresh thyme or rosemary, so I'm doing a dry. But of course, if you have the fresh, use the fresh. And this ain't gonna be no basic turkey dish. There ain't nothing basic about it. I said, forget the wings, let's do a lemon pepper turkey. So this right here is my lemon pepper. I have about 10 garlic cloves, uh, one large onion, and I have oranges, and I have lemons. And I will show y'all how to put this together. Okay, I have my water coming up to a bowl. It's on high heat. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my cup of salt. Mix that in. My brown sugar. And remember, I'll have my full list of ingredients down in the description box below. Going in with the thyme, the rosemary, the bay leaves. Get out a good mix. Lemon pepper. You want to mix this up really well, let this all come together. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my oranges. You're gonna want to squeeze it in before you place it in. So give your oranges a squeeze, get that juice out, release that juice. Look how juicy that thing was. There you go. Same with your lemons. Give your lemons a squeeze before you place them in the water. I'll be adding in onion, one large onion. And it's just a rough chop on all of this, y'all. And I used about 10 cloves of garlic. Get that all in. We're gonna let this come up to a bowl and I'll show y'all the next step. Make sure you're mixing this. Smelling so good, y'all. If y'all have never tried a brine, try a brine recipe. Whether it be your turkey or a chicken, you have to at least give it a try. I'm telling you, it's so good. It'll have your turkey, your chicken so juicy. Trust me when I tell you this. You can go ahead and turn your heat off. Now, when we add the turkey, you don't want to add this in hot because it'll start to cook the turkey. And we don't want to cook the turkey right now. So you want to let this completely cool off before you pour it onto the turkey. Now I've already washed and cleaned out my turkey. You want to check for the turkey necks and the gizzards inside of the cavity of this turkey and remove that. You don't want to cook that with your turkey. So again, we're going to go ahead and pour our brine on in this turkey. And it is nice and cooled off. We have our turkey nice and submerged into our brine. Now you at least want to do this at least 8 to 10 hours. I'm going to do mine overnight. But again, at least 8 to 10 hours. And we're just going to place this in our refrigerator to let it brine overnight. Okay, y'all. So our turkey has been brined. I did mine overnight. And like I said... Hopefully you can get yours brined for eight to 10 hours. I patted this dry. So now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna tuck the wing underneath the turkey. That way it won't brown on you. Each wing, just lift the turkey and tuck the wing under. So now what we need to do is, we're gonna lift this skin up so we can put some butter underneath it. Be careful and just take your time and just go under the skin and pull that membrane away. And that way that'll help loosen up the skin off the turkey. So just take your time and go along each side of the breast. You can also go from this end 
and go up under the breast on this end as well. See that membrane right here? Just take your hand, your finger, and run it across. And that'll help loosen up that skin. This way, and help loosen up the skin of this thigh. So just take your hand and just rub it across on each side of the thigh. Now we're gonna work on seasoning up our turkey. What I have right here is two sticks of butter. Gonna go in with two tablespoons of lemon pepper. You wanna get us a good mix. I have my butter sitting out, sitting out at room temperature. So make sure you get us a good mix. And now what we're gonna do is, gonna take some of the butter, lift that skin up, spread it all around that breast. That's gonna help keep that breast nice and moist, along with that brining process we did also. Come in on this side, and spread it around on that side also. Get that butter in there, get it on the thighs, on each side. Okay, so we have the butter all along this breast portion, the thighs. So now what I wanna do next is, I'm gonna go ahead and stuff my bird. But first I'm gonna season the inside of this cavity with some of my Jazzy Spice, my all-purpose Jazzy Spice. Just shake some in there, get it nice and seasoned. Now I'm gonna go in with some celery that I have chopped up. I have some onions. Push it all the way back. I have some garlic cloves, some carrots that I just have, some orange, and some lemons. Just wanna stuff that in. We have our bird stuffed, and I tied off the legs. Now what you wanna do is the remainder of that butter, you wanna spread that all over the turkey. Give it a bath up in this butter, baby. All over. It's gonna make the skin get nice and brown. Just slather it all on. The thighs, all over. Now y'all wanna make sure y'all get in there and get all that butter out, cause butter is expensive and we are not wasting a drop of it. Now all I'm gonna do is go in with some of my all-purpose seasoning and go over the top of the turkey with it. Now if you don't have my all-purpose seasoning, just use whatever seasonings you prefer on yours. But you can purchase mine at aprilsjazzyspice.com. And I wanna go ahead and thank everyone that has already purchased my seasonings, I appreciate you. And this is the bird, you guys. The turkey bird, that's all seasoned up. I did have my oven preheating at 325. So in the oven, 325, covered with aluminum foil for one hour. And then we'll take this aluminum foil off and continue to let it cook. But I do have a meat thermometer that I will be coming in and checking. And you wanna make sure it reaches 165. It's been one hour, you guys. Now we're gonna go in, take the foil off. We're gonna place this back in the um, oven and let it finish cooking. Now, at any point, if you see that your turkey is getting a little bit too brown, go ahead and cover it back up with aluminum foil. And our turkey is out of the oven, y'all. It, it is 165. That's good to go. Look at that. Now, before you cut into it, you want to let this rest for about 45 minutes. Longer if you have it, but at least 45 minutes. Because you want the juices to go back throughout the turkey. If you cut into it right now, the juices would just run out. So what I'm gonna do is just put my aluminum foil back on it and let it rest for about 45 minutes to an hour. And here it is, you guys. Now y'all know, I cannot leave without giving us that first bite. And let me just say this. I just tried this lemon pepper turkey. I need to try this brand recipe. Look how delicious. I'm telling you, flavor throughout it, it's nice and moist. 
I cut us some white meat. I got us some of the dark meat also on here. Has a really nice flavor. You know, just to change up from the regular turkey. And let's just do a lemon pepper. Let's switch it up a little bit for the holidays. Of course, I have some mac and cheese, cornbread dressing. And I do have that on my channel as well, so you can go check that out. And the green beans. I'll leave a link below for those recipes. Mac and cheese will be posted up on Sunday, so make sure your notification bells are set and set to all so you can be notified when I post another amazing recipe. Let's take this first bite. Look how juicy. Let's just go and just dig in. Y'all want a little gravy on that? Dab it up in that gravy. Mmm, take a bite. Just look at that, you guys. When I tell you flavor throughout, it's flavor throughout this turkey. And it's moist. Just look at that. You can see it. Let's try this dark meat. Look at that. Take a bite. I want to thank you all for joining me today. Be sure to thumbs up the video. Comment. Subscribe for the deliciousness. Y'all know the vibe. Be blessed. Happy holidays.